All right. Um, this is obviously the way forward, as far as I can tell. But back here, we still have a cave to explore. A couple of those dogs back there. I wonder. They don't have. He grabbed on the ledge again. That no plunging attack. Come here. Ow. I should just stop trying to be fancy and stomp his butt. Sneak attack. Walk very quietly. Ah. I don't know if you can't sneak attack them or I just messed up. Oh, crap. Wait, where was that block again? This one's feistier than the other one. I feel like maybe the sound is too high. Let's try that. Mushrooms. We must collect the mushrooms. Mirror fungus. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking the same thing as you. It could be useful, so let's pick it up. <laughs> I'll just pick it up and see. It could be useful. It should be useful. Maybe it's useful. I haven't found any kind of, like, brewing yet, but it might exist. Huh. Can't go up there? Get up there. This guy's about as graceful as I am in real life. What did he call himself? The unimportant stray or something like that? Is that hair? Or is it just poorly rendered cloth? I'm sad to say it's it's cloth. It's not, not the greatest looking if I'm being honest. All right, what do we have over here? Loot artifact. These tools all look familiar, but a bit too big to use. Maybe they needed them for other things. Well, it's still good metal. No reason to waste it. Yeah, let's take it. I'm all about taking the things. Ella signed bone dust. Oh, astounding. There's always more to find. Or is it Elysian? Elysian? That sounds more exotic. I 
feel like there should be a way up there somehow, but this man is certainly no Laura Croft or Nathan Drake. Oh, there's some brambles we haven't broken. The mirror fungus hides behind brambles. There we go. Oh, a mural. Those are cool. I like those. What do we have here? Copy the crossing mural. Open your world map. Okay, well, that said I had 100%, didn't it? So I guess we'll continue on. Where I thought we should be able to climb up farther, I guess we cannot. So there's nothing to do but go across that big bridge. what the significance of that is. As we'll figure that out as we go. This is a cool little vista. Vista? Vista? It's a nice view. Oh, there's um, some sort of structures down there. Some domiciles? Domiciles? They're houses. Oh, always good to see one of them. Yeah, there's our save point. That's neat. How the flowers bloom when you activate it. I like that. Who opened that? I'll be right with you after I finish picking flowers. The Golden Palace. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. Let's see, there's a dog creature and a bug creature. More flowers, green ferns. There has to be a use for these. They have got to be some sort of potion making or something. Or is that just, yeah, it's just another dog guy. Woo! Cheap shot, pal. Wait your turn. Come on, break. About broke his poise, he ran away. Ah! Get out of here. I wanted to use a finisher, but right when I was close to breaking his poise, he ran. Oh, are we finally going to meet this individual creature? There you are. And so the mysterious guide finally reveals himself. Are you monologuing for yourself? It is I, Boji, apprentice to the greatest sage of Akria. But don't confuse me for just anyone. No, you 
you stand before the first and only disciple of Eri, the great sage. So, you want to leave this valley? Well, that won't be easy, as you, my fellow adventurer, are now bound to this valley by the stone in your chest, and leaving it like this would be your certain doom. But fear not, there is someone who can remove that connection, though the way to him is long and hard. Beyond that gate waits a trail <laughs> to see if you'll be able to make the journey to your savior. But first, you'll have to find a way behind the gate. Many obstacles stand in your way, but I believe you'll prevail over them. Each foe more dangerous than the last. Wait, you find those are the obstacles? Your first trial. The general, the gatekeeper. Only when you best him will the path out of this region open. Well, that's just a deer, isn't it? Search. A hard battle, promising only certain death. That is for anyone but like you. The very same stone that curses you to stay is the one that blesses you with infinite lives. And for me, it's the tool that makes it possible to revive you again and again, just like I did before. Now that everything... Wait, wait, wait. What the hell are you even talking about? Not being able to leave the valley, and that part about you reviving me? Do you mean to say... I died? Exactly. So, now that all questions are out of the way... You it... don't make any sense. Why should I believe you, a talking wolf monster? Uh, I see you are still riddled with doubts, but you will find my words proven true when you continue on your way. It seems you have much to think over, so I will give you a bit of space. Oh, but don't worry. I won't leave for too long. Well, good, because we've only just met. Ah, yes. <clears throat> now that everything is explained, I'm sure you're burning to start your adventure, and I'm not going to keep you. Remember... The fiend behind that gate is your goal. Boji out. He said Boji out. What was that? Go to the gate, he said? Ha <laughs> ha suppose it is better than no direction. Boji out. <laughs> ah, Boji, the first apprentice of the great sage array. At least... That is what Boji likes to call himself. In many ways, Boji seems to be a personification of Akria. Mystical, magical, and sometimes plain weird. His behavior imitates that of a man, but often that only emphasizes his differences instead of hiding them. Boji seems to enjoy standing aloof, though he does seem like he wants to help, even if that help consists of mimicking animal cries and sh shaking shrubs. Mimicking animal cries and shaking shrubs. <laughs> okay. At least we finally met our other main character. It only took an hour or so for him to show itself. Why do I hear fight music? Ah, that's why. You got yourself stuck. Oh my goodness. This teleporting shit again? Alright. <laughs> okay, so the game is not without its issues. Luckily enough, it is also not without its charm. Have I been here before? Seems awfully familiar. Did that plant do that? 
Jesus, yes it did. Woo, that scared me, even though I kind of figured that's what was getting ready to happen. Alright, you, come on. I have faced you before as well. Wait, really? Alright. It was over as quickly as it began. And thus our hero became a man. <laughs> it just rhymed. I'm sorry. I may have had a little Mountain Dew with my lunch. Therefore, I'm a little excitable right now. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You tried it. Oh, I could add this to my collection. What, a green fern? Or something else? What was the point of that? Was there actually no reason to come here? Ow! Here we go, here's something. Golden Palace Collectibles, new color found. Green. Okay, well, now that we've found green, let's get away from these killer plants! Jesus! <laughs> okay. That's a trap. Got out of it. Wait. Is that something hanging from the wall? Yeah. Hey, do something. I think he's just broken. Yeah, yeah, he's broken. Hey, Boji. Bye, bye, Boji. Secrets? Are you gonna stay this time? Hey, you said your name was Boji. Care to tell me you built these giant temples? They are truly astounding. Though, I wonder how big their egos must have been. Oh, massive, believe me. Especially that of the one who ruled this place. These temples were built for the Elysine, a culture that lived here way before your time. LSC. Why is everything so big? Well, because they were gigantic. Almost two to three times your size. Two to three? That is hard to imagine. Particularly with you next to me. Aww. Oh. But I tell the truth. 
They were truly impressive. Not only their bodies, but also often their minds. Most of them were alchemists, you know? Alchemists, huh? Probably believed themselves to be above everything else. Most of them did. Yes. How unsurprising. So alchemy could suggest there could be a chemistry station or two that I could use my plants on. Hello, big guy. Oh! I asked for that one. Last time I fought one of these, it gave me a giant elbow drop. Yeah, there's the elbow drop. Um, not sure that animation played out the way it was supposed to. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, astounding. There's always more to find. <laughs> the more I play this game, the more the jank starts to prevent present itself. <laughs> it's it's kinda funny. Because it's not kinda funny, it's real funny. Ah, you didn't hear me. I parried you. Yes, I see the heartberry. Thank you, camera. Ready again to fire. Butcher knife. The weapons kind of give you pseudo classes, I think, like uh, Kingdoms of Amalur used to. That's cool. Now, how should I approach the rest of these? Oh, I, I kind of body pulled that one. That works. I was expecting a backswing that last time and it didn't come. Crossbow guy up there. Let's see if I can body pull this one again. There we go. I feel like I had that parry. I kind of cheesed the backstab out of that one. Not gonna lie, that's what I was fishing for, and I got it. Additional damage to light attacks. I'm going to take that. I still have another skill point. How about heartberries? Oh. 
Of which I have none. So I will sneak up on this guy. You will regret entering our lives. Oh wow, you threw him across the <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> that that went all according to my plan. Yes. That was exactly how how I planned that. Hey, my loot went in the wall. At least I can still get it. Ooh, that's one of the giant skeletons. Look at that. That's got to be one of the Elysians. Yes. What is this? I need to calm myself. A I'm giant sure horn? There's an explanation. Hmm. Maybe it was some kind of mutation. Yeah. Well, we need to get us get a, a hold of that. We need to get a hold of some of that then. Supersize me. Beyond the gate waits your first trial. But the way's barred. Yeah, you don't say. <sighs> Do I really have to go there? Why can't I just leave? Because you are bound to the valley, Farron. Really? I wouldn't recommend it. Whoa! Where did you come from? How do you know my name? You said it yourself? In the cave? But trust me, you can't leave. Not without losing your life. And this time it would be permanent, because I wouldn't be able to follow you as I am bound as well. The closer you get to the border, the weaker you get. Your heart slows down, your spirit fades, until you do your last and final step over the border. But then, what am I supposed to do? I told you, didn't I? There is someone who can break that connection. Someone I want to reach as well, though for other reasons. Then tell me where to find him instead of giving me some riddles about a guardian I have to beat. Your savior sleeps in the spire in the middle of the valley. The one that blasted you away, remember it? But I can't <coughs> enter it. But you can't do it either. Not the way you are now. That barrier around here. What does this have to do with me? That's a long story. I'll tell you on our way to the gate, because we really will have to beat that guardian creature behind it. We? No, no, there is no such thing as we. I don't plan on carrying a burden with me. What? He's not a burden, he saved a you. burden? Without that burden, you would still be lost, though, trying to escape the valley which would kill you. That is, if the others don't. And who will revive you again if that happens? <laughs> Just spit it out. You need me. For whatever reason. Yes, I do. And it is a reason I will explain if we travel together. Besides, we have the same destination, so why wouldn't we? Isn't it useful for you? To have a guide who knows his way around here. Oh, I can't believe it. Fine. Do what you want. Alright, so we are officially partners now. Wait, he has a skill tree too? Welcome to Boji's skill tree. Here you can find and level up all shown skills with lore points. Lore points Boji collects lore points by finding ancient relics hidden all over the area. Those lore points can be inve invested to improve Boji's abilities and crafting skills. Once you find a rune recipe, that specific rune will be unlocked so Boji will be able to craft it for you. Okay. Arcane Blast. Call Boji to attack one of your enemies with this ability to inflict poise damage and during combat. Oh. Some really cool stuff right there. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. 
So I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.